everybody. I have another variable practice idea for you. This one I call play one, imagine one. I originally learned this from the pianist Jeffrey Sykes. So shout out to Jeffrey. Thank you so much for this one. I absolutely love it. It breaks people's brains in the best way. So what you're going to do for this one is you're going to pick a passage and you're going to play measure one and then you're going to imagine measure two. So last week we talked about mental practicing. So essentially you're going to do measure two in your brain, hearing it, feeling it. Then you're going to play measure three, then hear measure four. So when you're doing it in your brain, if somebody could read your mind, they should get a seamless performance, right? You're doing measure one out loud, measure two in your brain, but if somebody could read your mind, they just get a seamless performance. So try this with starting by playing measure one, then imagine measure two. Then once you've done the passage that way, do the opposite. So start by imagining measure one, then play measure two, imagine measure three, blah, blah, blah. Once you've done it by the bar, try doing this by the beat. So play beat one, imagine beat two, play beat three, imagine beat four. And then try this by the note. This one like really breaks my brain. So play the first note, imagine the second note, play the third note, imagine the fourth note. You want to try to do this in tempo if you can. Um, and you want the tempo to stay consistent across the playing and imagining. Um, you will see in my video that I'm really struggling with this. And that is often what happens, that it's really difficult to go back and forth in this way. It makes you really, really clarify what's on the page because you have to imagine. But it also makes you um, have to really, really, really think because you're constantly starting and stopping your playing. I find it a very useful exercise after I've done this and kind of broken my brain with this a little bit, then going back and actually playing it feels significantly easier. So try this out today. If it breaks your brain like it does in my, in, in my video, then <laughs> you're, you're on the right track. You want to practice it until it is seamless and feels a lot better um, than it will at first. All right, play one, imagine one. So I originally learned this, like I said, from pianist. Uh, Jeffrey Sykes. So shout out to Jeffrey for this. Um, this is such a great idea. It's really challenging. Um, so I'm going to play you the passage first so you can hear how it's supposed to go. The reason I'm doing it with this passage is um, this is from my concert that's coming up in concerts in October. And this is something that's always like um, coordination wise just always feels a little bit a little bit scary. So I'll play it as written so you can hear what it is and then I'll do play one imagine one. So as written. <laughs> Rondo. So now I'm going to do play one, imagine one by the bar. So I'm going to start by playing the first bar and then in tempo, imagining the second bar, how it sounds, how it feels, then play the third bar, etc. So here we go. So I would start by imagining the first bar, then playing the second bar. But for the purposes of the video, I won't do that. Um, next, I'm going to do it by the beat. So play one beat, imagine one beat. Again, I'll start with the playing. Um, so play one beat, imagine one beat. Oh, I have to keep track of my bowing when I do this. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, this is hard. Okay. I have to slow it down. Oh, no. it was really hard to imagine and then remember to play and remember to stop. Um, so again, if I was doing this for real, then I would, uh, I would switch which one I'm starting with. So I would start with imagining. Actually, let me do that because that was really hard. So, oh, ah, okay. Oh, 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 I need to slow it down. Uh, imagine first. Oh, no, 
Okay, I really suck at this. So I would want to practice that until I could do it seamlessly, probably slow it down more, but hopefully you get the idea. The next one would be by the note. I don't even know if I can do that for this. Um, I will attempt it. So play a note, imagine a note. I'm gonna have to slow this way down. So the point of this is to make it really hard. It makes you think about it much more. I'm, I'm having to think about this passage like crazy right now. Um, you can see I can't really do it very well. So I would want to practice this to make it better, probably slow it down more, do it in, in little chunks to make sure that I could actually do it and, and play it. Um, but then final step is to play it as written and feel how much easier it feels. <laughs> I was trying to do with it. Um, so give it a try. You may fail like I did. You may find it's really, really hard. Um, but doing things that really tax your brain when you do it for real makes it feel a lot easier.